Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Virgo, we have the Eight of Cups in career and finance. All right, so you could be feeling like you want to leave, you know, um, feeling like you, you want to embark on so much more. Only you know the reason why you're leaving, okay? And that moon here, uh, something about maybe even wanting to go and start your own or do your own or do your own thing uh, with the Eight of Cups here. Go on that journey, you know, that self-discovery journey, you know, not knowing where you're going to land, but know that you need to do this for yourself. It's like an inner knowing that you, you have to, it's like you need to finish up something here, you know, maybe your job or give your notice or maybe you're retiring and then move on to something else. Or maybe you're going to transition from one career into the next here. But it's a power move. It's a power dynamic. Like whatever you're moving to is going to give you a lot of freedom, a lot of power to do, um, a lot of energy, you know. Uh, for some of you, it could be, you know, writing or it has something to do with writing or learning or helping other people learn or something that you have learned. It's got something to do with books. You could write book or I don't know. The Ace of Wands in Love and Romance. All right, so you you want to start something. You want to do something in order to move something forward. But there's little progression, especially if this is a relationship that has history. It's little progression in this relationship because somebody is wanting to do their own thing. They're after their own intentions, their own goals, their own achievements, okay? It also could be third party. You and this person could be separated and you're wanting to make some move towards them. The relationship could be over or transitioned into something else where you're just, you know, you're getting just enough or just a little from them. You're not getting enough. The Ace of Wands says it's, it's like you're, you're ready to fight for this person or to challenge other people involved. You're ready to throw your hat in the ring, if you will. You're really, you're ready for the challenge. So if you know something is going to be a challenge, you know that, you know, there is opposition here. So maybe you know that there's other people vying for your person or vice versa. They feel this way about you. If you're in a third party situation, you know that there's the main person and you're ready to, to go up against. It's like you, you want this person. Maybe you, you might even be challenging them to get a divorce, separate, Make something official here. Because you don't know what they're doing or what they're saying when they're with the other party. The advice from spirit is the eight of pentacles. So some of you are in some cyclical energy where you're just going around and around. A cycle is nothing new, you know, in a circle. There's nothing new about the circle. It's just a circle. Um, so you could be in a relationship where you guys cycle in and out, you know, it, it go, it's really good at times. It's really nothing, or it's really bad at other times. Some of you, this is an energy of, of just hang in there. It, it will get better. Some of you, this is an energy of, this is what you're going to get. This is it, you know, um, especially if your person is already coupled, there is no other, alternative outside of them you know of course getting out of their relationship but if that is not something they're going to do because we do have the I'm never getting a divorce card then um, you might need to restructure how you look at this relationship because this is it and some of you some of, the, some of the message for you, for some of you is to work hard, put this energy, effort, time into you because you're going to really build something dynamic, especially if it's, you're a new business owner, you're, you're a budding entrepreneur. It says wash, rinse, repeat, do something over and over again to get it to a place of, you know, self 
sustainability, where you're not having to be so hands on, where you can rest in that nine of pentacles energy of knowing that it is, it is, um, functional right now. You have to do the work. You, you are the business owner and the employee, right? Some of you are working very hard. You're kind of overworking or workaholic in terms of your work that you do maybe for another person or another company or whatever. Some of you not even focused on love or anything like that. You're just more so focused on your work and working on you. Some of you are in school. Are you going to go back to school? Or you want to do something where you have to learn something? You have to get some advanced uh, certification degree with a book smart. Some of you are working on your book, the Eight of Pentacles and Book Smart. Some of you are working on a book that will talk about maybe the heartbreak or the the. the the drama that you have been in, in terms of love relationships. This is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Some of you read books, you read a lot of books, you know, um, and they could be nonfiction also. Yeah. Nonfiction. They could be, uh, um, excuse me. They could be fiction. Some of you need to read more nonfiction, but some of these books you read or write could be fiction. You're separated from a person. You don't know what they're doing or what they're saying to this other party or what they're doing when they're away from you. This is what I have. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy Ella coffee link. You can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you can also donate to the channel by clicking the Amazon wish list. You could purchase something for the channel. And you could come learn the Tarot with me. Classes are linked below. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.